Hi everyone, I'm Tang Kim. In this video, I would like to share how to do partial RF test for multiple regression analysis in XLNR. There is one reference site I have used for this video clip. A partial RF test is used to determine whether or not there is a statistically significant difference between a regression model and some nested version of the same model. I have prepared two cases. The first case is to check whether X3 variable is significant or not. And the second case is to check whether X1 and X2 variable are significant or not. In the previous video, I showed you how to calculate X3 variables type 3 sum of square. As you can see, uh, sum of square and F value F statistic and p-value, uh, they are exactly the same as this uh, output, which is uh, analysis of variance between A1 and A2 model. So A2 model is does not include X3 variable. Okay, so we can say that uh, partial F test for X3 variable is same as type 3 sum of square analysis. So under 5% significance level. Uh, we can accept null hypothesis. It means that X3 variables, uh, variable is not significant. Okay, let's move on uh, to the second case. In this case, we want to test whether X1 and X2 variables are significant or not versus a uh, nested model, this one. Okay, let me use same data. Uh, I have used for multiple regression analysis. So we need to run two regression model, re multiple regression models. So let's run the full model. Select A column for Y variable and select column B to column G for independent variables. And let's see the result here. And uh, we want to also run a uh, multiple regression model again for X3 to X6. So let's choose select uh, uh, column D to column G. And let's see the result here. Okay. Let's highlight uh, important uh, value figures here. So let's get sum of square and F statistic and P value. Right, so SS can be calculated by SSE from nested model minus SSE from full model. Okay, this one. And F value, uh, we can use this formula, which is from this uh, website. And S is E from reduced model. <laughs> Minus this one. over P. P means number of uh, predictors removed from the full model, which is 2. And over uh, one. SSE over and minus K, which is uh, 23. P value and one minus F dot P I S T F statistic comma and user freedom uh, two comma because uh, there are two uh, pre uh, independent variables removed from the full model and comma twenty three user freedom from rigid year.
is the same as our output. Right. So uh, under 5% significance level, we can say that uh, we can uh, reject neural hypothesis and accept uh, alternative hypothesis. It means that um, there is a significant uh, difference between A3 and A4. So we, ne uh, we need to consider including X1 and X2 variable for a multiple regression model. So that's it for today. I hope it was useful for you to understand partial F-test. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.